Hey, this is Kelsey from PoofyCheeks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to download and import DXF files into Silhouette Studio. First, let's head over to PoofyCheeks.com and pick a file that we want to download. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we are going to use the We Rise by Lifting Others cut file. So you're going to click on it from the free cut file library, scroll down to the bottom, where you'll be prompted to enter your name and email address. Once you enter your name and email address, you're going to hit download cut files and those cut files will make their way to your email inbox. So it'll say working, it'll take you to the thanks a bunch for downloading page, and then it's time to check your inbox. From the email you receive, you'll see the little download cut file button within the email and you're going to click that and it'll automatically start downloading depending on the type of computer you're using. And you can see there are the files. Now you can go to Silhouette Studio and you can do file open and open the file that you want to use. So there's a DXF, a PNG, and an SVG, but for today's purpose, we are using the DXF file, which is compatible with Silhouette Studio. Once it loads in, you'll see this is the cut file, and I'm gonna use it to cut heat transfer vinyl for a t-shirt I'm making. So let's select the entire design. I'm gonna resize it a bit smaller and move it to the top left corner of my mat so I can save some space. Um, for heat transfer vinyl, you do have to flip horizontally the image, um, basically cutting it backwards, so that once you weed your vinyl, you can apply it the right way. Now back in Silhouette Studio, let's press the Send button and select Heat Transfer Smooth, which is the type of heat transfer vinyl we're going to use today. And it'll automatically do the settings for the blade, the cut, and the depth. Load your map, and now you're ready to press send. Since we already flipped the design, just press send as is, and your machine will start cutting. Thanks for stopping by and watching this tutorial today, and I hope to meet you back here soon with a new tutorial.